What's up legends, the Oversight Tournament continued on Thursday, and we had a Where's Waldo search for Optic Gaming, who finished in 17th place after their dominant win on Monday, and we had an ALGS Furious sighting as they won by 43 points. Let's get into it. To put Furious win in perspective, they've been MIA outside of the ALGS, except for a few small tournaments before everyone switched to the Furia comp of Horizon, Seer, and Valk, but since their comp has become meta, Furia struggled. But Thursday, they came to play. They won by 43 points, which is insane, especially when you consider that second place only had 47 points total. And Furia did it the Furia way. Besides getting two seconds and two firsts, Furia had 43 kills. That alone is 43 points. It was an impressive performance, and it was much needed after the slump they've been in. Optic Gaming, on the other hand, is coming off an impressive win on the Monday qualifiers, only to pull another disappearing act on Thursday, as they came in an underwhelming 17th place with 16 points total. I was hoping after Monday we would start to see a more consistent Optic Gaming, but it looks like they're still struggling with the new meta comp. Not every team needs to play the same comp to win. Different comps work better for different teams and different playstyles. Maybe it's time for Optic to try a new comp. Duplex has played a Gibby for so long that maybe playing a Newcastle or Gibby would be better for him than playing Seer. Skittles is a great horizon, and I'm not taking Knocked off of Valk. Space Station Gaming and Team Liquid have both been very good recently, and they run a defensive comp involving Newcastle. Team Liquid subs out Watson for Loba at times, and that could be a useful thing for Optic to think about. It's a little counterintuitive considering Optic is considered an aggressive team, but maybe it's worth a try. Space Station Gaming has also changed their IGL to help their team adapt to the new meta. Frex used to be the IGL and still helps with the macro rotations, but dropped as the new IGL because he has a more aggro nature. This combination has worked because you can still play defensive characters and make aggressive calls. It's all about timing and opportunity. I'm happy to see Space Station Gaming using the comp they're comfortable with and still making it work for them. Speaking of comps, we need to talk about Max Team. Slurpee G pulled out the lifeline, and to everyone's surprise, it was working. Max Team is definitely an off meta, especially with the comp of Lifeline, Seer, and Valk on Stormpoint, and Loba Fuse Valk on World's Edge. I'm impressed with how their team is doing, and we haven't really had an accurate evaluation of their team since most of the time Snipedown is out and they're playing with a sub, but once this team gets into a rhythm, they are definitely going to be one to watch out for. I want to briefly go over some interesting observations about the top 10 from Thursday. First is obviously the ALGS Furious hiding, and then Max team is vibing in second, but if we look at 3 and 4, that's TSM and RNG. It appears the swap of landing areas on Stormpoint is working out for both teams. But after you look at the first three matches on Stormpoint, TSM was in first with 36 points and 21 kills. While RNG was in 10th, they had 14 points and only 5 kills. The trade is looking much better for TSM, and RNG were actually in 14th on the leaderboard going into the final game of the night, but then they had a massive final game in which they got first place and 12 kills, but that took place on World's Edge, which had nothing to do with the swap. Then if we look through 5th through 9th, so many interesting things are going on. Free Agent Turtles played 5th, and they were playing with two subs as RKN and Rambo both had to evacuate their homes due to the hurricane hitting Florida. G2 could have been much higher on the list, but in G2 fashion, they made some terrible choices and would die to the storm after they were chasing people for too long. Space Station Gaming was in 7th with their new IGL, NRG placed 8th with Sweet playing through food poisoning and trying not to throw up the entire time, Team Liquid got 9th with their coach subbing in for Fun FPS, who was on a camping trip, and Fun was tied with Sweet for the most kills in the entire tournament, so even without those contributions, they managed to stay in the top 10. The upcoming week of events is going to be a bit different with Twitch Rivals happening, and as soon as the schedule is posted, I'll let you all know where to catch the games. Comment down below who your favorite player is who isn't on your favorite team. Until next time, Legends. Yeah. 1v1. I have dropped on my screen, Hal on Andrew's screen, dropped here. Hal here. Hal dropped top. here. This is a 1v1. Dropped 1v1. versus Hal. Hal gonna hit the res. He's gonna have to pull off. And this is a PK versus a car. Hal getting some nice entry damage in. Gonna swing over. No, no. A little 100 trickery. 100 with the PK. Another 100. Oh. What? Oh, that was so close. How much health does he have? Maybe not even one. Maybe oh not even 